Good morning, fellow firewood lovers. This is Chris, and we're back on the farm today. I just backed up and loaded up uh, this last few bits of the trees that I cut down back over here yesterday at the end of the day, stuff I couldn't fit on. So I loaded that up, and I got up early this morning to get here because I've got a big day. I'm gonna go do some cutting and load that up and then go dump that, and then Around 11 o'clock today, this morning, I have to go do a delivery of two face cords. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to come back, and we're going to cut some more and load some more. So basically, cutting, hauling, dumping, hauling, loading, dumping, cutting, stuff like that. So what I'm going to do today is we're going to head over to the other side. Down over here, I checked out on the tree line. There's some nice big ash trees over there that I'm going to cut. There's a couple in here, but they're leaning towards the other field where I'll cut this this fall coming up once the crops are off. So, And then after that, I could head out down this way and I could cross the, the ditch right here. There's a ditch I can cross right here. And I got this whole tree line along here I can work on too. And there's piles out there that I can work on. So basically what I'm trying to do is take the good stuff. I'm trying to get the... Uh, the ash, and there's a cherry tree down there. Um, there was a maple tree, a small one I saw. There was uh, some bigger buckthorns I can cut down um, that got good, nice hardwood in it. They're not big trees, but I can cut those. And I saw a hackberry that I can cut. That's a decent sized tree. So I'm gonna try to take the good stuff first, uh, just in case somebody else decides they wanna come cut. So. <laughs> Kind of the way it works the guy said cut whatever you want so that's what i'm gonna do and the farmer i talked to yesterday on the other side over here he says yeah he says, cut anything you want and he said just leave the branches we'll just shove them into a pile so that whole wood line over across as you see over there i can cut on so well, i gotta get going i got lots to do today so here we go it is it's loaded and I'm on my way to dump it and then put on another load of dry stuff to go deliver so this was mostly ash you can see it's mostly ash one one little popple tree I had to cut down because it was in the way so anyway there it is here we go on the road again
So I'm at the side of the road because I just dumped off my load and something felt funny. The trailer just was acting kind of weird after I got rid of my last big load. So I'm on my way back to the farm. And so I came back to the trailer and looked and I broke a leaf spring. Look at that. So what I'm gonna have to do is go to the dealer and get it fixed. So here's another look at it. Go forward here. So that's what it looks like. So now it's riding right on the frame up there. Apparently it's a common thing. He says, yep, I know what it is. It's not a big fix. It won't be hard to fix, but I got to take it there and leave it there because they're really busy. So it's going to take them a couple days to get it fixed. So anyway, that kind of sucks. So now I've got to uh, take my trailer and get it fixed. And uh, then I'm going to go back to the farm and cut and just load my truck up and go back and forth with the truck because it's only like 10 miles from my, where I store all the wood. So anyway, bomber. So even though I had breakage of equipment, uh, this morning I went, as you saw, I went and got a, a big load of mostly ash. And I broke one of my springs, one of my leaf springs. Well, I had to do a delivery of two face cords right after that so i put all the wood up to the front and it was just fine i didn't even it didn't have any problem with it at all as far it just seems to ride a little different because i'm i'm only have i only have one full set of springs on the right hand side the other one is kind of resting up against the the body the frame so it's still working but only half the spring is working so i got just a little sag on that side the thing i was worried about was having the tire rub like it, it was, it was rubbing, kind of got polished a little bit where I hit some really bad bumps when I had the big load on. But with a two-face cord load, it wasn't a problem. So I delivered that and I came back, um, made the phone call to get my trailer fixed and I was just gonna leave and I got a text. Somebody who wants two-face cords of whatever I have available to pass customer. So um i told him i've got a little bit of maple left and a little bit of oak he said well he got the oak last time he really liked that and he wants two face cords so i just loaded it up and i did end up with two face cords it's the stuff that's been sitting right in this area here from the stuff that i split from this that was bone dry so i threw it off into a separate pile so i do have two face cords and the good news is is it's literally on the way to where i'm going to take my trailer to this place hilbert to Merceburgers, and that's where i bought my trailer so it's it's right on the way uh normally um it would be kind of a, a long trip for me to go either just to go and get the trailer because like it's like 32 miles away and this delivery is like 36 miles away so i just got to make one little jog out so it's on the way so that's pretty awesome i'm going to get uh paid to take my trailer to get fixed so i'm going to go dump the load and then i'm going to take my trailer and drop it off and they said they could get to it in a, a day or two so we'll see so here we go on the road again
Well, folks, I think I'm done for the day cutting. I cut down, I don't know, I think like six or seven trees, you can see. I cut a couple popple trees that were kind of in the way. So I got those and there's a one, two, three, four, I think four ash trees over here. And over here I cut one ash tree here and one over there I cut, but I took a lot of that out already. So I'm gonna leave this cause I'll be back in the morning to pick it up. And uh, seems like all I always got is my pickup. I'm not even gonna bring the saws. I'm just gonna come and get another load of this ash, which is what's in here. It's pretty much all ash. And uh, so yeah, that is it for today. I got a lot done today. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like, subscribe. You know what to do. You're a professional. And I will be back tomorrow. Same wood time, same wood channel. Good night, Irene.